before my dad died, a couple, almost two years ago now, he made this beautiful painting of the farm, which he loved very, very much. If you look there, he's even got those those little white dots on the hill are sheep, my sheep, or all the sheep that I did have. It's been a week of uh, sunshine, <laughs> and I want to thank everybody for the huge amount of outpouring and support that outpouring of support that there has that you've all shown. Um, I'm sitting here with this little guy who is yet nameless. Um, this is the blind lamb that uh, I'm not sure what we're going to do with him yet, but he's... to thank everyone so 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 much um, for uh, an incredible outpouring of encouragement and it is really hard just proves to me that um, we all Shh, I know it proves to you too it proves to me that we're all on the same page as far as uh, not wanting to be controlled so many people. I have over a thousand wonderful, supportive, loving messages from uh, people from Australia and Italy and uh, Denmark, and all over, all over Ireland, uh, all over Canada, um, all that are interested and supportive and saying don't give up, keep fighting, and um, with your help, I'm going to do that. Ten days ago, I sent out a serious distress signal. Yet today is the real May Day, the other kind. Not a call for help, but a spring celebration of the Earth. This first day of May is truly a miracle. I've never felt the power of birth and renewal so much as I do today. You all answered the call for help. So this is also a celebration of your kindness and your generosity. We did it. In just 10 days, over 1,500 kind souls, friends, and strangers have reached out. Over 52,000 powerful people have viewed the YouTube video on GoFundMe. It's changed my entire perspective and how I, I've been feeling this past many, many, many months. We're in this together now, so please help keep it going. Let's insist on serious shifts in government policy so no more heritage breed livestock are needlessly wiped out. Many are pointing out that the goal I originally posted is nowhere near what the legal bills will be, let alone the combined mortgage arrears, outstanding farm debt, or compensation for losing my flock, income, or mind. So I'll extend the original goal though I'd leave it open-ended if I could, because the real goal is not a specific dollar figure. The real goal is to be stronger than the force trying to bring us down, to secure the farm and to secure a significant change in our government's actions is the real goal. Your unified voice is a strong show of positive change and possibility, which means all of our combined power is limitless. Your response has already far, far surpassed what I dared to imagine. Your support and encouragement is flowing in and building something that a short time ago I thought would be lost. It has made me realize we really do all want the same thing. We feel strongly about the same issues and there's incredible power in numbers. I've always known that, but now I'm really feeling it just as you are. Your support will go to securing the farm, creating an educational farm for heritage breed livestock, and laying a solid foundation to stand and defend an unjust government policy. You've asked, what else can I do? For starters, you can keep spreading the word. 
We need even more voices to ensure that Canada's Minister of Agriculture, Jerry Ritz, knows that blindly ignoring all of our wishes is not acceptable. So, to Honourable Minister of Agriculture, Jerry Ritz, when would you like to meet?